Hi friends at New Creation, it's Rebecca and today's Palm Sunday. That's a special day in the Christian calendar when we remember and celebrate the time when Jesus came to visit the city of Jerusalem and have a Passover, um, celebrate Passover with his friends. It was towards the end of his life. And when he came to the city, people were so excited to, him, to see him that they waved palms at him. I don't mean palms like the inside of your hand, that's one way, that's one palm we wave, but I mean palm branches. Like if you're in the sanctuary today, you'll see there. And you see in this um, uh, painting, uh, is a mural painted on a wall in a church in Macedonia, which is north of the country of Greece. You see in the background here, members of the crowd have palms. And again, they would have, waved him at Jesus to say, we're excited to see you. You might think about it like being similar to how we use confetti. Um, when we're excited, we might throw confetti like at a parade, little bits of torn up paper um, or bird seed um, at a wedding. So those are some things that we throw when we're excited at different events or we would wave. <coughs> if you like KU basketball, you might know that when uh, if you go to the Allen Fieldhouse and watch a basketball game, people do something called the waving of the wheat. This is a similar idea where you here take palm, palm leaves or palm fronds, sometimes they're called, and wave them to make a pretty display um, and to say, welcome Jesus to Jerusalem. Oh, so what are palm leaves? or palm fronds, they're this part at the top of a palm tree. Palm trees grow all around the world. In the US, that includes in Florida, Georgia, North Carolina, South Carolina, um, may maybe North Carolina, definitely South Carolina, Hawaii, California, and Arizona, Georgia. So it's gotta be someplace pretty warm. Palm trees can be very tall. The very tallest palm trees go, grow in the country of Colombia, and they're 200 feet tall. Probably the ones that grew around where Jesus lived were date palms, and they grow to be about 80 feet tall. We can eat the fruit of palm trees, probably most famously coconuts. So coconuts grow at the top of a palm tree um, here at the, the, what's called the crown of the tree but also dates grow. Um, palm trees can produce dates and palm tree trees can produce peaches. Palm trees also produce oil. And those are some ways that we use palm trees for food. And you can also use palm trees for building things with their, their wood can be used for building. Well, I said that palm trees grow in places that are warm and you can't grow a palm tree outside in Kansas, but you can grow a palm tree in a pot in Kansas, and like put it on your patio in the summer and then bring it into outside in the winter, or you can grow bonsai, sago palm tree, like in the picture here. This means a little palm tree that you can grow in your desk. It's like miniature size. Now, I said you can grow a palm tree in Kansas. That's not quite true. A sago palm tree is a false palm tree. And that means it looks a lot like a palm tree, but it's not exactly genetically related to real palm trees. But still, if you like the look of a palm tree, a sago palm tree, a little bonsai one that you can grow in a pot in your on your desk or in your table, on your windowsill at home, might be a fun choice. I hope you learned a little bit about palm trees today.